The Logan Pro Joiner is a more production design V-nailing tool over the studio joiner with its ability to drive two nails at a time with an adjustable drive foot, plus the ability to space the V-nails properly before driving. The contents are the joiner, extension arms, and molding spacer, V-nail slider, installation screws, and extra V-nails. To install the extension arms, place one arm under the base plate, line up the holes, and install the screws with the wrench provided. The Pro Joiner is now ready for use. Before joining, ink the molding corners with a matching stain pen. Then pre-glue the mitered ends and insert them into the joiner clamp, keeping in mind that the V-nail spacing should be roughly one quarter to one half inch apart. Tighten the handle to clamp the molding in place, but be careful not to over tighten. Now position the drive foot over the center of the mitered joint. To properly space the V-nails before driving, check the width of the molding on the base clamp scale. Then match the same spacing measurement on the nail block channel. Before driving any points, check the throw of the drive foot to see that the lever bottoms out at the end of the drive. If necessary, raise or lower the drive foot using the large knurled knob until the lever goes just past horizontal to ensure proper V-nail insertion. Hardwood V-nails versus softwood V-nails. Softwood V-nails have a sharp edge to cut into the wood molding. Hardwood V-nails have a tempered blunt edge, better suited for hardwoods. Which V-nail to use? Always use soft V-nails on softer woods to prevent bending. A soft V-nail can possibly bend going into harder woods, and a soft nail is not recommended for hardwoods. Always use hardwood V-nails on hardwoods to prevent splitting. A hard V-nail can possibly split softwoods. A hardwood V-nail is not recommended for softwoods. The height of the V-nail to be used should not exceed the height of the molding. Driving a V-nail one half to three quarter the height of the molding is usually sufficient. Space nails approximately one quarter to a half inch apart. For moldings one half to one and three quarter wide, use no more than two V-nails per corner. For moldings two inches to two and a half inches wide, use no more than three V-nails per corner. Install a single V-nail into each of the V-nail blocks. Make sure that the proper leading edge of each nail is facing up. Now place the V-nail slider into the channel under the molding clamp. In one motion, pull the lever down so that the molding clamp bottoms out onto the V-nails held in the V-nail slider. This will drive both V-nails flush into the molding. To release the join corner, press down on the molding clamp and use the screw stop to hold it in place while releasing the molding from the clamp. Watch again as the molding clamp bottoms out onto the V-nail slider, inserting both V-nails at the same time. If the design of the molding prevents the drive foot from evenly applying pressure during the drive, use the molding spacer which provides a flat, even surface producing better results. When driving V-nails into hardwoods, it may be necessary to drive only one nail at a time rather than two for best results. To do this, simply remove the positional V-nail block and load the V-nails only into the remaining block. To prevent the top V-nail from entering the joint too close to the outside edge, which could cause splitting, an adjustment can be made to offset the V-nail location. 